cryptocurrency is quite literally blowing up in Latin America right now. Why? Because of a visionary new scheme in El Salvador to mine Bitcoin using energy drawn from an active volcano. Could this bold initiative solve the nation's chronic poverty and silence crypto's pesky environmentalist critics? Join us today as we scale the caldera and look into how El Salvador is mining Bitcoin with volcanoes. Earlier this month, El Salvadorian President Nayib Bukele tweeted a short video clip unveiling his country's glossy new geothermal electricity plant. The brief clip also showed engineers receiving a delivery of shipping containers full of Bitcoin mining rigs and technicians busily installing application-specific integrated circuits, or ASICs. We're still testing and installing, read the presidential tweet. But this is officially the first Bitcoin mining from the volcano. So what's actually going on? Back in June, the El Salvadorian parliament passed a law declaring Bitcoin legal tender in the small Central American nation. The country's other official currency is presently the US dollar. The plan hopes to help El Salvador ride an international wave of fascination with cryptocurrencies and ultimately drive much-needed investment into a nation where 70% of the population lack basic access to traditional financial services. That means banks. As well as adopting Bitcoin as formal legal tender, Bukele's government also sets out plans to provide the necessary training and mechanisms for Salvadorans to access and engage with transactions involving Bitcoin. And in case anybody was wondering what tiny El Salvador has to offer the world as a futuristic crypto hub, President Bukele offered this tantalizing hint to accompany his June announcement. I've just instructed the president of At the GOSV, our state-owned geothermal electric company, to put up a plan to offer facilities for Bitcoin mining with very cheap, 100% clean, 100% renewable, zero emissions energy from our volcanoes. This is going to evolve fast, he added. As if to underline his commitment to the crypto cause, Bukele also changed his Twitter avatar to a doctored photo of himself with laser blue eyes, a popular meme among Bitcoin fanatics. So what's at stake here? Cryptocurrencies currently have a dreadful reputation among environmentally conscious consumers, who argue the carbon footprint of crypto mining is unacceptably high. Bitcoin's energy consumption is related related to its hash rate, or the speed at which mining computers can solve mathematical problems to unlock the next tranche of coins. Bitcoin mining is said to burn through some 129 terawatt hours of juice a year. Google's entire net energy usage, by contrast, is a mere 12.4 terawatt hours. Over the past two years alone, Bitcoin mining has added 40 million tons of CO2 to the atmosphere, or the equivalent of an additional 8.9 million cars suddenly driving on the road. Bitcoin is already a bigger emitter than American Airlines and is fast catching up with the entire US government's carbon footprint. El Salvador's argument is that volcanic energy is essentially free. It doesn't require the burning of dirty fossil fuels. And thanks to El Salvador's geographic location, perched on the rim of the so-called Pacific Ring of Fire, there's no shortage of volcanoes. In fact, there's at least 20 active volcanoes within its borders, and they already supply about a fifth of the country's traditional energy requirements. To be clear, the volcano itself won't directly power the mining operation. Instead, heat from its scalding molten core will be harnessed to boil water, which will in turn generate steam that drives turbines. El Salvador's progressive approach to Bitcoin has already run into teething problems. On September the 6th, just one day before it legally adopted the world's most popular cryptocurrency, El Salvador's central bank splashed out on 400 Bitcoin worth about $21 million. The following day, after the policy was formally rolled out, the price of Bitcoin plummeted to its lowest level in nearly a month, from around $52,000 to a little under $43,000. Still, according to the country's shiny new Bitcoin laws, businesses have to accept Bitcoin when and where the technology is available. Citizens aren't compelled to use Bitcoin if they don't fancy it, but they are incentivized to do so by the government. There's already a state-backed wallet called Chivo, and any citizen who downloads Chivo onto their smartphone is instantly rewarded with $30 value in Bitcoin. Salvadorans have proudly shared images on Twitter of these crypto windfalls since using the wallet, and President Bukele has already declared the scheme a success. 2.1 million Salvadorans are actively using Chivo Wallet, not downloads, he tweeted. Chivo is not a bank, but in less than three weeks, it now has more users than any bank in El Salvador and is moving fast to have more users than all banks in El Salvador combined. This is wild. However, the World Bank and the IMF have both expressed skepticism at the rollout, 
arguing that environmental concerns surrounding Bitcoin remain valid for the time being, and that cryptocurrencies are still too volatile for nation states to bet their solvency on them. Doubtful Salvadorans took to social media to suggest that high levels of illiteracy in their nation make its population ripe for online scammers, and that the country just isn't ready to make such a complicated leap into the financial unknown. Moreover, internet access is spotty, with only a small minority enjoying access to up-to-date devices and fast connections. Still, it's not all doom and gloom. Tech firm Athena Bitcoin has publicly committed to investing $1 million installing as many as 1,500 cryptocurrency ATMs across El Salvador. These ATMs would enable citizens to exchange Bitcoin for US dollars and vice versa. President Bukele's manner of rolling out these controversial proposals has been criticized as dictatorial, which inspired him, in a Trumpian flourish, to change his Twitter bio to El Dictador Más Cool del Mundo Mundial, Earth Globe Americas. In English, that's the coolest dictator in the world, Earth Globe Americas. The notion of using volcanoes to mine Bitcoin isn't even all that far-fetched. Iceland already has a proven track record for harnessing geothermal power for its extensive crypto mining activities. The proof of El Salvador's volcanic success will all come down to the efficiency of its miners, and whether or not they can offer investors a competitive ash rate. What do you think? Will El Salvador's scheme pave the way for a cleaner, greener crypto future? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more Lava Minute tech content.